yo, yo, yo! What's up, guys, and welcome back to another one. Today, I have a little treat for you because I was surprised on a hunt that I got invited to. I showed up, and four subscribers were there. They got out of their truck, and they all were wearing ducks hoodies and hats, and they had been subscribers since like two or 500 subs. It was awesome, to say the least. Made me feel extremely good and extremely privileged to be doing this. With that being said, of me being privileged and proud of where I'm at on YouTube and having all you subscribers here, I thought it was only fair to hook you guys up with one heck of a deal. Now guys, listen, listen, here's the deal. You guys went nuts over the Freedom Cup Ducks hoodies. Check it out, yeah buddy. The Freedom Cup Goose hoodie is available. But like I said, I'm feeling very privileged, I'm feeling very proud, and I want to give back to you guys. What we're doing is we're running this hoodie for 48 hours only, but normally these hoodies run $39. We cut them. This is the cheapest we've ever sold a hoodie, 30 bucks, 48 hours only. Go pick it up. Link's in the description below. I'm going to tell you right now, this hunt, we didn't kill one bird. But this was the most birds that I've had over my head all season the footage is amazing i wanted to give you guys that heads up and that explanation before we go through this short hunt and you're like why didn't you shoot into that group well i'll tell you why we didn't shoot into that group let me tell you what there was probably two or three thousand geese they weren't all snow so that means we weren't gonna go rain in he double l into these thousands of geese it's not good but it wasn't a bust. The reason why is because the early morning show we had was truly amazing. Right after all the birds left, that first amazing thousands of geese show, they sat across the road, the north wind picked up, and we had a blizzard roll in. We had to get out of the field extremely quick because we went into the field at like 40 degrees, and this front came in, and we were all about ready to croak. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Shout out to all four of my subscribers. You know who you are. Thank you guys. We're going to be hunting again. Follow me on Instagram or Snapchat. Hit me up. Send me a DM and say, hey, Bobby, we got a bunch of snow geese over here. Come bring your decoy spread and help me get rid of these things. Because, you know, conservation season is coming and we're going to be doing it. I'm done talking. Let's get into the video right now. <laughs> but anyways, me and Wade are about an hour away from home. Long story short, I got hit up on Snapchat and... Uh, a buddy Nathan that I hunted with uh, last year actually hit me up and he's like, hey man, I got a big old field, 2,000, 3,000 lessers on this thing. Come over here and hunt it Sunday morning. Needless to say, we're here and I show up and he's got like four buddies with him and literally every one of them have a duck's hoodie or a duck's hat on. I was like, holy cow, I didn't know I had this many viewers over here. So it's really neat, turns out. Got a lot of fans on board today. We have like four or five subscribers hunting with us, so it's really neat. This is what YouTube does. This is what YouTube has done for the channel, is connect all of us waterfowl hunters in you know widespread areas to local regional areas. It is amazing. So we'll meet the guys here in a minute. We have to get busy. It's cold. We gotta sit up. We got a ton to do. I look like Rudolph, because I'm so cold. <laughs> They are just fluttering. Finally getting here. Ooh, we got some squeakers in there. We got some specks up in there. It's already going in there. Holy smokes. They are showing up, boys. They are showing up. Yep, they're coming. Here they come. Come on. Make a pass on us. 
Look at the birds just floating in our lap. Coming down the pipe, David. Do you even at Christmas? How big of a group do you think that is? Oh, thousand. Come thousand? On. Thousand. If they Get over come. here. Wow, 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 wow. If those ones were out in the field. Yeah, they're wanting to land out there in the field, definitely. Look at that, just <laughs> wanting it. <laughs> so these birds, like Nathan said here when he was scouting this field, these birds have been landing out in the center they come. like they are now, and we're just battling them, trying to hey. draw them in over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here they come. Yeah. Holy cow. That is a show right there. Oh. Don't move. A lot of snows. We need to. We they're just doing it. They're floating. We're doing it. We got. We're good. Look oh at them my out. goodness! Look at this, people. This is amazing. I mean, they're just freaking doing it dirty, fluttering above us. This is beautiful. Leads me to come down in front of it. Oh my God. That was amazing. We didn't shoot. Oh my goodness. That did land. All they do it like that. Ducks just doing it all sorts of dirty. Yeah. That's not fair at all. What in the. Oh. Ah! Yeah. Shoot him! <laughs> well, I haven't introduced everybody. This is Nathan, who uh, he's the one that got the field, hunted with him one time last year. Who we got? Everybody go through down the line. Blake. Michael. Caden. Rick. Oh, yep. Somewhere down there. <laughs> there that's Rick. Yeah. So, needless to say, we showed up and uh, they had all kinds of ducks hats on and uh, hoodies and I'm like, you guys know who I am. So, you know, it's just weird. It's, it's different. So, uh, this thing is spreading like wildfire and, uh, well, all the birds moved literally right across the road. Uh, you know how it is, I've said it time and time again, battling live birds and live feeds with, you know, 50 dozen, 20 dozen decoys, you're never going to compare. It's never going to work. So, hey, we have birds coming. There's coming. Birds, yep. birds coming. Hurry, hurry. Right there. On top. I wish yeah. that dang field would, I wish they would have landed in a field a couple miles away. Yeah. yeah instead of right across the road. See this big hill, they're floating down the middle of it and going north and north and north and these trees on the north side, on the other side, that's where we got literally umpteen million geese over there that uh, we flared over there. So, um, we're, we're contending, it's hard. It's always hard contending with live birds. That feed just got up, if you can see them over there, that is a lot of birds up, a ton. Look at all them right there. That field lifted. Oh man, so the birds are just trickling off this feed. It's been all morning. It's 10 o'clock now. For the big group at first, that was amazing. Heck of a show that that first group, big group, gave us amazing. We we're all frozen to the bone. Uh, cold front has rolled through the last three to four hours since we've been out here. When we first got here to the field, it was about 38 degrees with about a 10 mile an hour north wind. As you can see, it is gusting at 40 mile an hour and it's literally 20 degrees. It feels, the wind chill right now feels like four, four. So we're gonna pick up, it's gonna be brutal picking these decoys up in this wind. 
literally all of them are blown down. We've been sitting them up non-stop. I'm gonna put the camera away for a minute, freeze my butt off, pick these decoys up, and we'll see you back here in a minute. Oh, hi Jackson. Well, you look cute with your little bandana on, buddy. You don't look so tough. Oh, hi girls. Hi girls. Well, just got done editing up that video, and that is the reason why I put that video up, is because, yes, we didn't shoot anything, but we absolutely had a show of a lifetime. The whole hunt, the whole travel, an hour away from my house was all worth it. I met some subscribers, made some new friends, but I'm reminding you guys, it's us giving back to you guys. Regularly $39, $30 now for 48 hours only. The cupped goose hoodie is linked down below. But truly guys, hunting with my subscribers was amazing. It was so much fun. We had a ball. That north blizzard came and we were all hurting. We were like, yep, it's 10 o'clock. We've waited around. These birds aren't going to come back. Let's get out of here. That's why there was no content after that. And it was a short video. I wanted to show you guys that massive show of birds because it was tremendous. But like always, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, these subscriber hunts, I want to do more. Drop me a thumbs up and let me know. And if you haven't, be sure to subscribe because we're going to be having a lot of discounts and a lot of deals coming up at the end of the season for you guys. We're going to be doing some blowout sales, so be looking out for that. Again, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead.